Hello students, in this video I have uh, a CBC class uh, 11 chapter Silk Road which I have uh, already taught a uh, few portions. So now I am going to start today from page number 77 uh, uh, and previous portions I have already taught. Uh, author says here that I checked my watch again as I continue to climb in the bright sunshine. It is bright sunshine and author is going as you know as you all know that author is going uh, on Mount Kailas okay, for a Kora and uh, he is going along with his uh, friend Daniel and along with uh, a, a driver named Satan. So author says that they continue to climbing uh, on the mountain okay uh, not uh, they are climbing uh, with the help of a vehicle okay because the way is uh, in, on the man in the manner that they could climb actually so bright sunshine they are climbing we crept uh, past 5400 meters and my head began to throb horribly and all of a sudden uh, while they arrived at the reached at the at the height of 5400 meters author says that it had started uh, horribly throb means his head started uh, aching he headache he started headache I uh, took gulps from my water bottle, he gulped means he drank, he drank water from his water bottle which is supposed to help a rapid ascent actually which is supposed, uh, means water uh, is supposed to help whenever you are, you are climbing on a height, water is supposed to help you in uh, uh, normal your breathing and, and your problems. Uh, we finally reached the top of the uh, pass at the 5515 meters. So, author actually right now on whatever the uh, path, pass that is um, path, on, uh, on whatever the track author is continuing his journey. Okay, he reached finally at the at the height of 5515 meters. It was marked by a large kerana of rocks. And there he saw, while he reached at this uh, height, he saw that there was a kerana of rocks. Kerana of rocks means, uh, in the past times where the people uh, came uh, at this height, and somehow they died actually. So their uh, churchyard was uh, created, their graveyard was created. Matlab unki ek, basically a cover bana di gai thi, jo chattan se matlab unke dead body ko wohi pe dafna diya gaya tha. Us isi height pe dafna diya gaya tha, jo pehle log aaye the, jinki death ho gai thi yahan pe aate aate, to unko dafna diya gaya tha. Aur unke dafnaane ko uh, dafnaane ke baad unke cover ko patharon se, rocks se dhak diya gaya tha. This is called kerana rocks. Matlab ek tarah ka churchyard isko keh sakte hain. Uh, Festooned with uh, white silk scarves and uh, these all the each and every uh, uh, you know that uh, churchyard okay each and every uh, burial place the graveyard uh, was festooned means decorated uh, with a white color uh, scarves means you can say almost white color uh, uh, you, mean you can say that that was covered with white color uh, cloth and rag prayer uh, prayer flags and there were there were flags also arranged near these these kind of uh, uh, graveyards we all took a turn round the cairn and they all took a round circle which was a ritual actually jo bhi wahan jata tha wo students un jo qabr the unka ek chakra matlab round karta tha uske ek prakrama karta tha arthur also did uh, and along with arthur uh, daniel and satan also did in a clockwise direction they did it in a clockwise direction as in the tradition because it was a tradition that whoever goes to this height and they saw the kiran of rocks they uh, do a round circle of that and Satan checked the tires of his on his vehicle. Satan checked the tires. He stopped at the petrol tank. Finally, he stopped at the petrol tank. He was checking the vehicle properly, and partially unscrewed the top. And he unscrewed. He unscrewed means he opened the top. Top means the fuel tank, which emitted a how loud hiss. And all of a sudden, a loud hissing sound as the petrol tank was open. A hissing sound came because of uh, the uh, why this hissing sound. The lower atmosphere pressure was allowing the fuel to expand because. Now they were on the height and because of that the pressure was low, pressure became low, as you go on height the pressure becomes low and because of low pressure the fuel was expanding okay, in the fuel tank, that's why this his sound came when he opened the fuel tank. It sounded dangerous to me and it sounded, Arthur thought that uh, while Arthur listen, listened this hissing sound he thought that uh, something wrong has happened to the vehicle, maybe sir, set on loud but set on was, was knowing that this hissing sound was not only that of just because of a pressure that's why he laughed at the doubt of author but no smoking but he told sir um, if you don't smoke okay no smoking is necessary uh, if we will no smoke there will be no problem if we will smoke then it will be caught fire my headache soon cleared so uh, the headache uh, which author felt actually while he reached at the 5400 meters distance uh, height now that cleared his he uh, has a relief in his headache as we carrier down means as they started coming down uh, because they are climbing on a mountain so sometimes they are going up sometimes they are coming down 
so now they are coming down on a track okay that's why author's headache became okay the other side of the pass now they came towards the other side of the pass and that's why they are coming down now after climbing out to 5515 meters now they're coming down it was two o'clock by the time we stopped for lunch now they stop for a lunch it was two o'clock we ate hot noodles uh, so in lunch they are having hot noodles inside a long canvas tent and where they are having their lunch in, in a long canvas tent in a tent which was made of canvas part of a workman in a work camp erected beside a dry salt lake and actually this tent belongs to the work it was a work camp that was made uh, uh, beside that was made beside a dry salt lake there was a salt lake actually lake from which the salt is taken so salt lake was there and be, be, uh, just beside the salt lake this car, uh, uh, canvas tent was made uh, the plateau is a um, poke mark this plateau was actually uh, full of actually poke mark is full of with salt flats means here a lot of uh, salt lakes were there flat means lakes and blackish lakes a lot of uh, lakes were there which are full of blackish uh, brackish lakes means lakes were there of water but uh, water lakes were also full of salts that is brackish vestiges of um, tethys ocean and you could find here the part of tethys ocean which bro which bordered tibet uh, which was bordering this tethys ocean bordered tibet means around the tibet you could find this tethys ocean all around the tibet before the great continental collision that lifted it, it is skyward it is a little uh, bit you can say students historical and geographical term if you have learned about uh, the gondwana uh, because uh, before the separation of this universe this universe divided in two parts gondwana and uh, there was one more part so while gondwana was divided in different different parts the stethis ocean was uplifted actually okay so after this collision the gondwana and other continent uh, this ocean was created uh, Tibet before the great continental collision that lifted it skywards and the uh, continental collision hua tha, so ye jo, uh, ye jo tethys, uh, tethys ocean hai, ye ho gaya, thoda upar taraf gaya tha. to ye pe side isme, uh, visible uh, hai, is place mein. this one was a hive of activity at this place you can find a hive of activity means a lot of activity was going on where Arthur is having his lunch and along with his uh, along with Satan and his friend Daniel a lot of activity is going on there. What kind of activity? Men with pick uh, axes. The men were having pick axes. It is a kind of axe which is used to dig the ground. Okay. But here they use to dig the salt. And shovels. Shovels, you know, we take things like that, sand or whatever. So, men with uh, pick axes, shovels. I mean, here was a lot of work. Here was a lot of work. Here was a lot of salt. And there was a lot of work. So, this is why I said that high wave activity, a lot of activity was going on. Uh, trudging back and forth. Means, uh, people were going... Uh, forward and coming forth uh, uh, with the shovels, trudging back and forth. Miss, आप shovels को देखते हैं तो shovels जब भी जैसे sand उठाना हो तो पहले उसको back करते हैं, फिर forth आगे बढ़ाते हैं, तो इस तरह से हम चीजों को उठाते हैं। ये उठाने के process का discussion है। Trudging back and forth in their long sepi skin coats, all the workmen, all the laborers are wearing, who they are gathering salt, uh, are wearing sepi skin coats and salt interested boots, and they are wearing uh, boots which is a special, uh, uh, which is covered by the salt. All wore sunglasses. All the workmen were wearing sunglasses against the glare as a steady stream of blue trucks emerged from the blindingly white lake laden with piles of salt. So, what is this? Uh, all the workmen were wearing uh, sunglasses because the glare as a steady stream. Uh, because suddenly, uh, uh, stream is river, then rivers were there with the, uh, and, uh, uh, from the other side of the river, blue trucks, a lot of blue trucks were there. Means the salt gathering process is going on here. Salts are being loaded in the trucks. So blue color trucks are coming. Uh, the because of uh, salt, whitish color, the sun uh, is shining brightly on that. A lot of glare is coming into the eyes of uh, these workmen. That's why they are wearing sunglasses to protect their eyes from the blindingly white lake laden with piles of salt. Because the salt lake the, उससे बहुत ज़्यादा glare uh, reflect होकर के sunlight उसपे पड़ा था और वो whiteness को ऐसे reflect होकर के इन workmen के आँखों में पड़ा था जिसको ऐसे ये लोग अपना आँखों के protection के लिए sunglasses पहने हुए थे. By late afternoon. We had reached the small town of Hor. Now Arthur reached into a uh, different town, okay, uh, which is named Hor. Back on the main east-west highway that followed the old trade route from Lhasa to Kashmir, and uh, this Hor city was situated to just to the back portion of east-west highway uh, that is called Silk Road, okay, which was followed, um, um, which was followed the old trade route uh, from Lhasa to Kashmir. Okay, from Lhasa, that is uh, the uh, that is the part of Tibet. From Lhasa to Kashmir, there was a route that was used for trade purpose in ancient time. This hoar was situated just behind that route. 
डेनियल हु वॉज रिटर्निंग टू लहासा फ्रॉम हियर नाउ फ्रॉम होर जो द फ्रेंड ऑफ यार यू कैन से द असिस्टेंट ऑफ ऑथर इज नॉट ही विल नॉट गो फर्दर ही विल स्टॉप हियर सो डेनियल इज नाउ रिटर्निंग फ्रॉम होर टू लहासा ही इज नॉट गोइंग फर्दर विद अलॉन्ग विद ऑथर फाउंड राइड इन अ ट्रक he uh, rode in a truck daniel rode in a truck so satan and i bid him farewell outside a tire repair shop so arthur and uh, uh, satan driver is, is standing at uh, outside a tire repair shop in uh, hor and daniel departed them and they wished uh, him goodbye we had suffered two punctures in quick succession now arthur says that why they were uh, in front of the tire repair shop because uh, their car had uh, uh, had uh, face, faced to quick uh, succession means duration in two in very quick duration uh, their tire has got two punctures uh, on the drive down from the salt lake because when they were coming from the salt lake uh, the satan was eager to have fixed uh, them uh, since they have left with only no spares uh, satan wanted that uh, the puncture tires must be repaired uh, as soon as possible because now they have no spare tires they have no extra tires beside the second tire they had changed now the second the new tire which they had used actually in this uh, which they has used actually in in this uh, uh, in their vehicle okay after uh, repairing puncture replaced by one that was as smooth as my bald head actually the, this tire was also not of a good quality this tire was also as uh, bald uh, as the author's bald head okay the tire was very smooth matlab ye jo tire yahan pe repair karke lagaya bhi hai lagaya gaya car mein ye tire bhi kafi purana tire hai और बिल्कुल ऑथर यहाँ कंपेयर कर रहे हैं थोड़ा सा ह्यूमर फन फन है ऑथर का सिर बाल्ड हेडेड था तो कह रहे हैं कि जितन, जितना मेरे बाल्ड हेडेड मेरा सिर था जितना स्मूथ उतना ही स्मूथ टायर था जो लगाया गया होर वाज अ ग्रीम मिजरेबल प्लेस सो ऑथर से दैट होर द सिटी वाज अ वेरी ग्रीम मीन्स अनप्लेजेंट एंड वेरी वेरी सैड प्लेस वाई लेट्स सी द रीजन देर वॉज नो वे स्टेशन वाट्स एवर बिकॉज दिस प्लेस वॉज हैविंग नो वे स्टेशन नो प्लान नो ट्रीज absolutely dry place uh, absolutely barren place just dust and rocks everywhere just dust and rocks were there liberally is scattered with years of accumulated refuse and liberally you can say that why this place was not a good one a grim and miserable place because uh, from many years accumulated means collected refuse means it has been denied and all the waste materials were gathered in this place you can say that this place was a almost a garbage place which was unfortunate uh, which was very unfortunate because given that the town sat on the shore of lake mansarovar because this sound was town was situated just before the just at the ledge of lake mansur or lake mansur is a very very pious place the bus most the bus most venerated stretch of water so lake mansur is one of the most venerated means holy pious okay a stretch of water place okay a, a river lake mansur ancient hindu and buddhist cosmology ancient hindu and buddhist cosmology means the person who believes in religion pin points the pin points is they say they accept that mansarovar as the source of four great indian rivers they think that the kailas mansarovar is the source of four great indian rivers the indus that means uh, uh, the uh, that is a river then, then the ganges the satluj and brahmaputra so people believe ancient hindu and buddhist both that the four indian rivers indus that is uh, you, you know said hind mahasagar that is called indus ganges uh, ganga river satluj and brahmaputra these four rivers uh, start from the origin of these four rivers uh, is kailas mansur it is accepted actually actually only the satluj flows from the lake but uh, author found that only the satluj river flows from this lake mansarovar but the headwaters of the other all rise nearby on the flanks of mount kailas but the other three rivers uh, rivers water uh, like uh, ganges indus and uh, brahmaputra Uh, they their headwaters means their water begins from their origin 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 places the flanks of mount kailas that is a part of mount kailas means they start from the mount kailas we were within striking distance of a great mountain now author says that striking distance means just a few distance means just a very uh, i we were now very close to mount kailas and i was eager to forge ahead and i was very interested uh, to go ahead as soon as it is possible because he, i wanted to do the Uh, holy i wanted to see this holy place mount kailas as soon as it was possible but i had to wait arthur was wanted to go early but he need to wait satan told me to go and drink some tea in he, in hor only cafe which okay satan told to the author that please sir go into the hor's only cafe uh, there was a only single cafe house uh, in cafeteria you can say in uh, hor and he told that please sir go into that shop and have some tea 
like all other buildings in the town and this coffee house was also similar to the all, all other buildings in the house in whore the buildings are not made of a good quality let's see how was constructed from badly painted concrete this house was painted uh, concrete to other very badly painted concrete and had three broken windows and in this uh, coffee shop there was three broken windows the good view of the lake through one of them and through one of the windows the good view of the lake lake mansarovar helped to compensate for the drought means uh, whatever the drought means the bad scene i saw in the form of the coffee shop the badly painted concrete the three broken windows but one of the through one of the windows i saw the lake mansarovar and that was making a compensation for the uh, whatever the lost i have matlab itne kharab jagah pe aakar jo mujhe abhi nuksan mehsoos ho raha tha matlab is hor mein aur is coffee shop mein itna bura ye coffee shop tha lekin ye sab bharpai ho gaya kyunki uske ek khidki se kalas mansarovar ka bahut hi uh, beautiful scene visible tha i was served by a chinese youth in military uniform who spread the grease around uh, on my table with a filthy rag before bringing me a glass and a thermos of tea so other sat in the cafe house and a chinese youngster in a military uniform who was wearing uh, wearing a military uniform who spread the grease okay who spread means clean he who cleaned the uh, grease means clean around on my table he cleaned the table of author with a filthy rag but he cleaned the table with a very dirty cloth before bringing me and then he br uh, brought in front of author a glass and a thermos of tea half an hour later uh, and after half an hour Satan relieved me from my solitary con uh, confinement. Uh, Satan, because the driver Satan had went somewhere, as he told Sir, please go and have a cup, have, have a cup of tea, and and saying this, Satan has uh, went somewhere. Okay, he chala gaya tha. After now, Satan uh, relieved after half an hour. So Arthur was really to relieve to see him, relaxed to see him from the solitary confinement because Arthur was confined here. Arthur was feeling just like a prisoner here because this place was not a good place. So after the arrival of Satan, Arthur felt little bit relieved, relaxed. and we drove past a lot more rocks and thereafter they started driving again and they uh, crossed more rocks and rubbish westwards uh, toward the western direction okay rubbish uh, track out of town towards mount kailas and they came out of the town hor and uh, proceeded towards mount kailas my experience in hor came as a stark contrast to accounts i had read of the earlier travelers now author uh, now students author wants to say here that uh, he is visiting uh, the mount kailas for the first time and uh, uh, the mansarovar lake for the first time but he has read already about this place in the books but whatever he has read okay about the experiences of early travelers before the travelers before him uh, so that experience was absolutely different means whatever he read that was different whatever he was seeing actually in in reality reality was different and the description which he read in the books were different my experience in hor came as a stark contrast means totally opposite experience i had to accounts i have read of earlier travelers uh, so okay where from the details he read from the earlier travelers about this place first encounters with lake mansarovar who came to this uh, mount kailas and they uh, saw the mount um, kailas mansarovar before him they had written different thing about this mount kailas mansarovar but what author saw was different ikai kawaguchi a japani monk Uh, now author is giving example that whom uh, account he read uh, before him ikai kawaguchi was a japani monk uh, saint actually who had arrived there in 1900 who came in this place at 1900 was so moved by the sanctity of the lake who was so much impressed moved impressed by the purity of this lake mansarovar that he burst into tears that he started weeping actually a couple of years later few years later the hallowed waters the pure waters again the hallowed means pure pure uh, water uh, had a similar effect on uh, swen hedin a uh, swen hedin and another swedish uh, traveler came and the kailas uh, monsoro water had the same effect on him who wasn't prone to sentimental outburst uh, actually who was not accustomed to uh, this uh, swen hedin was not a very emotional person but while he saw the pure water of kailas monsoro he became very much emotional actually